Flickr, Tumblr and Yelp. Quirky names for startups started in the 90s with Google and Yahoo. In the studio is our London-based startup expert who can share the most crazy names for tech companies. Google named themselves after a misspelling of the huge number Google. It means a one followed by hundred zeros. And Yahoo is an acronym for yet another hierarchical officious oracle. By the early 2000s, the trend has spread to startups outside the valley, including the Vancouver-based photo-sharing site Flickr and New York-based blogging platform Tumblr to name just two. Um, the reason is quite easy. Practically every new business needs an online domain and most of them have already been taken. Okay, and do you have any other uh, awesome stories on how hot tech companies came up with their names, Lulu? Um, definitely. Uh, Twitter, for example. The name Twitter was picked out of a hat. So a small group of employees did a brainstorm session and of course they were um, trying to come up with a name that would fit within a team of a mobile buzzing in an update in your pocket. So they narrowed it down to options and let fate decide. And luckily fate decided Twitter because one of the other options was Jitter and to place a Jeep sounds just weird. That would be a little bit weird indeed. And do you have any, any more stories? Um, yes, Android, for instance. Um, science fiction, in science fiction, it stands for a robot with human appearance. So, um, and Andy Rubin, the former CEO and co-founder, uh, really, really like robots. So, um, Spotify is an easy one. The founders crossed Spot and Identify uh, when they named their digital music service. And Nintendo has poetic origins because Nintendo is Japanese for we do all that we can as best as we can and await the results. Nice. And uh, uh, what's the thing with Apple? Was, was Steve Jobs an, an Apple fanatic? Um, so far I know it, there isn't a, an official story behind Apple, but there are many, many rumors. Uh, one of them is that he was three months late filling a name for the business and he threatened to call his company Apple Computers if his colleagues didn't suggest uh, another name before 5 p.m. But as I said before, it's just a rumor. Another one is that he used to work in an apple farm in the summer. Uh, so or that he was a fan of the Beatles uh, that created Apple Records many, many years ago. But as I mentioned before, it are all just rumors. However, the name Blackberry, another fruit, was purely a marketing decision. Wow, that's a lot of information, a lot of new insights, Lulu. Thanks so much for joining us and I uh, hope to talk to you soon again. If you want to know more on these names, go to interconnection.com.